Uh, good evening, uh, dear students. I have uh, the honor of having uh, Dr. Uh, Chandrani, who has secured INI SS DM Pulmonary Medicine, rank six, six this year. So welcome, uh, Dr. Chandrani. Uh, first of all, tell me, how does it feel to secure such a great rank? Uh, the feeling has still not sunk in completely, I would say, because uh, even though my exam went well, we cannot predict what rank we will get. And it has always been my dream to get a single digit rank in uh, the com competitive exams, beat neat SS or INISS or even in the PG level. So finally being able to achieve that dream, dream is a great thing for me. Yeah, briefly tell me about your uh, UG, PG uh, residency background. Uh, sir, I did my MBBS from uh, Medical College, Kolkata. Then I went on to do my MD Respiratory Medicine from Calcutta National Medical College. And right now I'm working as Senior Resident again at Medical College, Kolkata. Okay. Uh, when did you decide that uh, you need to get into DM Pulmonary Medicine? It was actually after the end of my residency, to be very honest, because uh, I took pulmonary medicine because I thought that this was an end branch and I also liked the subject. But after getting into the branch, I realized that it is a very vast subject, which is growing constantly day by day. And I also develop a keen interest in the branch while studying. And so I decided that I should go for DM to further understand uh, all the vast areas that are there. So when did you join in uh, resident uh, pulmonology course and how did you know about this course? I joined, uh, sir, almost three to four months before my final MD examination. I did not know about the course prior to that. One of my, actually two or three of my friends told me that they have subscribed to this course and uh, then only I came to know and then I subscribed. It was like around three to four months before my final exam. And I used uh, that course a lot since then. I used all the videos and the notes to write all the short notes, the long questions. And even after that for my neat SS and INSS preparation. So how did the course change your uh, preparation? It has been uh, one of the turning points, actually, I would say, in my decision to do DM and uh, to increase my no knowledge and my interest in the subject because I could understand all the topics very clearly and within a short amount of time. So I uh, used all of the uh, videos and the notes that were there to enhance my understanding. So you have done your uh, post-graduation from a top uh, government medical college. How did you balance your uh, work and your uh, steady schedules? Uh, sir, in the first and second year, could not balance it well, to be very honest. Uh, it was mostly work and I uh, went with the flow. I used to be uh, very uh, attentive whenever my faculty used to take our rounds and the bedside teaching. And it was only in third year when I could actually consolidate all the concepts that I gathered during the first two years. I have seen your uh, status, everything, uh, uh, being a senior yes, resident, sir. you always take some lectures here and there. So you are yes, uh, passionate in teaching and you are passionate in uh, guiding people. So what will be your tips for uh, students who want to start their uh, NEET SS or INISS preparation in the first year, second year and third year? So how will you ask them to approach? I, I would say that you focus on building your concepts first. When you have solid concepts, then you will be able to approach the entrance examinations with these. It is uh, videos and uh, what the concept building that is achieved through watching the videos and solving the questions then not only really help to achieve the rank that you want in ETSS, but also to uh, build your concepts, which are very important for day to day practice and for practicing the subject as a whole. And also, sir, sure. I was a very avid quizzer. So uh, my quizzing also helped me build knowledge about this. So this was the thing I wanted right. to listen from you because last time also you messaged me that uh, Sir, I like uh, taking quizzes and I think uh, that uh, curiosity uh, to be in quiz and to shake, showcase your uh, talent in conferences, that must be the driving force and uh, motivation for uh, everybody. It started with that only because uh, it, uh, uh, it just increases our uh, view. I mean, our focus on the subject, our knowledge on the subject and what new aspects can be explored, what new aspects can be thought about in the future. Yes. And what was your plan in the last two to three months? 
Uh, sir, to be very honest, I started preparing for NEET SS or INISS after the last NEET SS or INISS session uh, because I had not thought about doing DM prior to that. And uh, during these last two to three months, I focused mainly on revision. And whenever I got stuck on a subject, I used to, on a, I mean, a question, I used to go back to the uh, uh, lectures and see whatever uh, point I got wrong. If, if I could not even understand even prior to that, uh, that what has gone wrong, then I used to consult the textbooks. So mostly it was revision. But if I did not know any question, then uh, then no use studying was also there. So I'm sure that you are going to be a very big name in uh, pulmonology in the coming future. And what is your special interest in pulmonology? Which field are you interested in? Uh, intervention as well as intervention as well as allergy. Yeah, great. Both. Because uh, there is a lot of scope in uh, intervention and uh, allergy in our country. And uh, I think you'll have very good exposure from uh, Ames Bhuvaneshwar that you are going to pursue your uh, DM residency. And one more question. Uh, what will be your message to residents how to integrate uh, their clinical work, uh, their academic work, and uh, with that videos of resident pulmonology so that they can get a very good rank in uh, NEET SS, INISS? I would say that whenever you get a case in the wards, you just watch the videos pertinent to that case and then see what features you're getting in that patient, what further you can do for the follow-up or the management of that case and then manage accordingly. Because once you practice what you read, it will automatically uh, go inside your head and you will learn from it. Other than just reading, if you practice it, it will be better. So, that yeah, will, so it will help. Yeah, excellent advice. Now I can understand because your uh, concepts were very strong during your residency. You could uh, crack uh, very well easily this uh, INIS. So one uh, last message to all our uh, aspirants and residents from your side. I would say that uh, believe in yourself, first of all. You can do it. It is not an unachievable or Herculean task. If you balance your work and if you study uh, well, that is, uh, that is you can if you can get your concepts clear and uh, do your work properly, you will crack it. It's not a very a big deal, but yes, uh, pertinent to INSS particularly, I would say that if you want to get DM Palmo, also you have to focus on a bit on medicine as well as biostatistics because they will also pay a huge importance in uh, determining your rank. So I know that you are a very passionate person and I am wishing you all the best to excel in this branch. And I request you, whenever you find time, you are always welcome to take uh, any sessions for our uh, residents in uh, resident pulmonology. Thank you, sir. It will be my honor and pleasure if, we can, if I can do that, if you give me that opportunity. I will definitely take that opportunity, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was a great time uh, listening to your thoughts. Thank you and all the very best. Thank you, sir.